back at the reaction of David Nato, a member of lawyers for Grenfell. Hello to you, David. Thanks for joining us. Hello, um, I'm guessing there's still huge frustration at the uh, lack of progress being made. There, there is. You're absolutely right. I mean, you just heard the, the minister there talk about uh, their people. They're not statistics. And people are longing to be treated as such. They're longing to be treated as significant and, and important. And one of the most important things that this government can do, aside from the practical needs of people, is to communicate a sense of care, a sense of love, and not just that, to build a bridge between the people who suffer this great tragedy and the rest of the nation so that people can understand that they are us and we are them. And it's this concept of Ubuntu. It could be anybody here. It could be any one of us. And we need to set that tone in our nation because far too often we are hearing the most hateful comments directed at the survivors of Grenfell. And it's not right. And the leadership needs to set a moral tone. What do you mean by that, hateful comments? What are you talking about? Well, if you, if, you look at all of the, if you look at any of the social media sites and you hear about couples who are heartbroken and want to give their home in Whitstable, for example, to, re to residents and residents, survivors who have gotten some holidays or some help with uh, um, their mental health and so on. Um, if you look up and down the city, you see people at every level from the wealthy. I was at an event where... Uh, uh, a philanthropist raised 1.9 million to give directly to the families and the survivors of Grenfell. Uh, and you look at every level of society, people traveling across London to help out. But then there are others who say these are foreigners, these are people who are scroungers and so on and so forth. And it is the leadership that is needed to set a tone in our nation that say we are one nation, we are one people. We may live in houses or we may live in, 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 we, we, we may, we may live in a flat structure or a tall structure, but we are all one one people and we need to set this sense of, 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 um, of unity amongst us. And the, the secretary's statement is correct. These are people, not statistics. Now the government needs to start acting like they're dealing with people and not statistics. But was ever thus, surely, David, there's always going to be different um, people with different approaches in society. I suppose the government would say in response that they are doing uh, their level best at the, the, uh, the, the speed that they can achieve to try to find properties and homes for those that were caught up. And also, uh, the police would say that they are trying to progress as quickly uh, and efficiently as they can to try to find out whether people should be held criminally responsible for what happened? Well, of course, these are processes that require the right amount of time for them to take place. But in the meantime, I'm sure we have the resources in our country so that a woman who is pregnant don't have to go and uh, uh, have her child and then come back to a one-bedroom scenario with other children, and that the conditions created for people to live in uh, it is not as dire as wondering, is this really one of the richest nations, the richest borrowing, the richest nations of the world? Uh, and that actually, that, that maybe it's difficult to put back a smile on, 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 on the people's faces, but surely we can guarantee their dignity. And that is what the government needs to work on. In the meantime, this is the message to the government, in the meantime, until things are sorted out, people's dignities need to be restored and not just treated like, oh, you're getting your little voucher per day, and um, you know, you're just not being treated well, not being treated. Just think about how you treat your loved ones and the ones you care for. Because do as we do to the least of these, that's what we need to remember, as we've done to the least of these. Do you think that, and, and this, this is a you know, perfectly uh, reasonable answer one way or the other, do you think that uh, people from Grenfell should be um, treated more favourably than other people um, in London who you know, might be having a baby and then having to go back to an apartment that's a one, only got one bedroom and children in it? No one who has not been in that disaster can understand the psychological impact of what happened to people that night. The people there will never be the same. Not just the people who lived in Grenfell, but the people who come from that community 
will never be the same. In that sense, you cannot treat this like an ordinary incident. This incident, as sad and as tragic as it is, is an opportunity for our nation to reflect on how we treat each other and decide that this will never happen again. And the way to not make it happen again is to demonstrate right now that we have the resources and the capacity and not just the head, but the heart to treat people with a sense of dignity and respect. This is, yes, of course, it is a special scenario here. This isn't an ordinary, everyday experience. This is quite extraordinary. And therefore, our response needs to be magnanimous, extraordinary, and full of love. And do you think that local politicians who are representing those people in Parliament are doing all that they can to try to achieve that? I, 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 I just don't get a sense that um, enough is being done. And it's not just the quantity of what is being done, but it's the way and the manner in which things are being done. I mean, this, the, there needs to be almost a separate ministry. So you have Minister of Housing, you have uh, Minister of Communities and so on. But there needs to be almost a ministry around Grenfell because there's a Grenfell in every borough. And as we've seen recently where MPs are accusing the Prime Minister of breaking her promise because they're not even looking at buildings in other boroughs which requires sprinklers, and you're saying, no, we're not going to give that, even though it would seem that promises were made four months ago that everything would be done to prevent such a, na a national disaster again. So the question is, how are things being treated and how are things being done? It's not a question of the amount of what's being done, but it's the nature of how it is being done as well. The care that one would take to look after their own life and welfare needs to be employed and deployed to the rest of the community. So we can be assured that no matter who finds themselves in such a scenario, they will be taken care of. Because here we have a government whose first <coughs> priority is to look after the people of the nation and okay. not just the budget of, of, a, of a chancery. Okay, it's good to talk to you. Thanks for taking the time. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much.